Yo, what's up? It's your boy Earl, back at it again with another video. This time, it's another build tutorial. The last build tutorial, I showed you guys and girls how to make the chains or the twisted chains. This time, I'm going to show you guys and girls how to make the helix coil. Let's dive down, I'll show you how. So for this build, you're going to want to use 36 gauge, some Clapton wires, a good pair of wire cutters, a screwdriver, and pliers. This is going to be a manual build. No, I won't use a drill and no other tools, just these. Okay? So if you don't have 36 gauge wires, what you can do is you can take and strip your Clapton coil. As you can see, you can strip your Clapton coil. But since I have 36 gauge, it's not going to be an issue. So I want to take about 10 to 12 inches of wire, clapped in. Take note, this is best used with 26 gauge or 28 gauge. Right? I want to put the two leads together, form a loop. Okay, apply the twisting techniques that we learned in the last video. Pull this, get your wire straight, shake a little bit, get some tension in there, and start twisting. As you can see, this is now a twisted clapton. Now, the way to make this into a helix, you want to get some 36 gauge and run it through all these spaces all of these spaces created. There is a fast way and a long way to do it. The long way is you insert it here and then it's twist or you can do this. This is what I prefer to do. I cut this off. I get some 36 gauge. I get about 12 inches of 36 gauge. I don't think you guys can see this but that's around 12 inches of 36 gauge. So I got my 36 gauge which is here. I wrap it a few times. Okay, that should be good. Right? And I don't know if you guys can see this, but getting as close as possible, I put this 36 gauge in one of the spaces. Okay, I put it in one of the spaces put my finger on it here and then I just turn it okay this should automatically put it into these crevices okay into the spaces I got a few of those done I can just twist my wire like that right That's the first one. Now, you have to get another 36 gauge. Same process, put it in here, create a little twist. That should do. And then if you notice, if you look like real close at this, one side has 36 gauge in it. The other does not. So choose the one without the 36 gauge in it. Choose that side. Put the 36 gauge in there. And keep it running. Now you can cut the ends off. And there you have it, the helix coil. All of the spaces in between the Claptons have now been filled with 36 gauge. You can grab a 35 or a, you can grab a 3.5 or a 3.0, I prefer a 3.5 and go one, two, three, four, five loops, 
For 26 gauge, I tend to use five loops or four loops. It's, it's a bit springy, as you can see, but don't worry about that. All you need to do is dry fire it, and it should take out that spring. Right? Tug on that, tug on that, and I will make a new or a second so I can dual coil this. Okay, just a second. Now, boys and girls, as you can see, I made two 28 gauge helix coils. All I did was apply some heat to it and twist. It's basically the same thing as what we just did. I'll install this and I'll go back up top and I'll show you the performance. So boys and girls, that's the Helix coil. It is my personal favorite flavor coil. It has a low resistance like a 0.17 or 0.15 and you can fire it at like 130 for maximum warm flavor, like warm flavor. But you can also fire it at like a 75 or 70. Depending on what gauge you use, this is like a 28 gauge. And I'm, if you can see, I'm firing it at a 71 watt, right? 71 watt power mode. Produces a lot of vapor and a lot of flavor. Like a lot, okay. Uh, let me try it at 130. The more you step it up, the more warmer and crystal clear the, the, the flavor gets. But you can still fire it down at like 75 and get a cool vape and still get that perfect flavor profile. It's messing with my life. <laughs> it's messing with my life. So that is the Helix coil for you boys and girls out there. You can try it at home. No complicated machinery needed. Just Clapton 36 gauge and screwdriver implies. That's it, okay? So I will be coming out with another video for you guys and girls for another build to try for your flavor connoisseurs out there, right? I will see you boys and girls in the next video. Peace out.